So as I said, I was going to share with you what I'm seeing. So there are my books and things. My friend that I saw before I came here gave me roses to have in my room for the week, which was so lovely. And I'll give you this little view here. It's so pretty here in the Berkshires. I'm sure you can hear the birds. It's really lovely. And then very simple accommodations. Just a simple, you know, twin cot situation. I do have my own sink here in the room and then a shared bathroom down the hall. And there's there are my props and things and a dresser. So I'm all unpacked and organized. That's the Saucha part. The order, the cleanliness. All right, everybody, I'm off to silence. Hey, everybody. So I thought I'd offer you a day one recap. Uh, I got in and got settled yesterday, and then today was my first full day. So, uh, and my days will largely look similar to this in terms of the scheduling. Uh, the details will vary. But uh, today, so for instance, up at 6 a.m., which is really easy to do because it gets light here very early and it's just beautiful right now. So up at 6, first class is at 6.30. I start my mornings with a gentle yoga class, or I, I will be, I did today. Uh, and that is a 75 minute class that's followed by a 30 minute meditation class. So basically for the first two hours of the day, I'm immersed in yoga and meditation and then from there, I have about uh, an hour break until the next class. So then after that, I took uh, a Hatha yoga flow class this morning, which was great. The teachers here are so, so well trained and just so inspiring. And it was, it's amazing to, to be here and be a student. Uh, and then that's followed by lunch. And then I spend my afternoons uh, outside. That's when it's nice and warm and, and it's beautiful, as I said. And so I went for a little hike today and I was all by myself, which was really nice. And uh, then I came back and did some reading and journaling outside in the sunshine and came in and had another gentle yoga class at 445. That's right before dinner. It's an hour long. And then I just finished, just came back from dinner. And then around eight, I'll head down for my shower and come back and then read and it'll be lights out by 10 certainly and I don't think I'll have any any problem falling asleep tonight uh, but what a glorious day three yoga classes and a meditation and a hike and as I said the teachers here are all amazing tomorrow it will look really similar I'll start my day the same way we will have different teachers for those classes but start my day the same way and then tomorrow, um, instead of the Hatha class, I'll be doing a Chinese astrology class, which sounds really cool. And then it'll largely look the same, probably take a different hike tomorrow. Um, but you know, that that is the general schedule of the week. So I don't know that I'm gonna do a recap every day, but I, I will check in again midweek and just kind of let you know how it's going. But uh, I am definitely in my element here I am with my people, and I can't say enough about how Kripalu really maintains such a lovely retreat environment. Um, it's easy to unplug, and I'm really happy that I unplugged. I'm obviously doing uh, some little videos and taking some pictures to share with you, but but the phone is in is in airplane mode, and I am I am unplugged this week, and it's really. It's really special. So they, they do have, it's, it's pretty easy to remain plugged in if you need to be, but they do require that that use be designated to certain areas. So it, it does maintain the retreat atmosphere. And I'm eating some delicious vegan food. And as I said, the weather is spectacular. It's just truly what I was hoping for and wanting and needing and definitely exceeding my expectations thus far. <laughs> so anyway, I just wanted to share that with you and I will be sharing more again later this week. So stay tuned. There's more coming. Hey everybody. So I'm back. <laughs> I uh, opted not to do a midweek check-in with you 
uh, just because by the middle of the week I was really fully into retreat mode and I just couldn't bear to interact with my device. I kept my phone on airplane mode all week and I only used it for uh, taking some photos and videos around that I'll be sharing with you later. Uh, but it is time to return. I have just finished uh, my last silent meal here and uh, it's going to be time to pack up and get organized for the morning. I leave pretty early in the morning and uh, I just wanted to share some some takeaways from the week with you. Um, so the number one takeaway, I shared with you my schedule, uh, kind of a, a sample schedule with you in my day one recap. And, uh, and I, what was beautiful about that was, yeah, that was kind of the construct of the week, but I also allowed it to be organic. And in those first couple of days, I took some naps. I reminded myself I'm here for rest too. That is part of the relaxation of the R and R is rest and relaxation. So I really allowed myself to rest and I didn't hold myself to a stringent schedule. I allowed it to be organic. Uh, and by midweek, I was, as I said, full on in retreat mode, really rested, peaceful, calm, grounded, reconnected. And it was just a lovely, lovely week. Uh, so I, as I said, I did allow my schedule to be organic and uh, I really didn't nap actually after Wednesday or after Tuesday, uh, starting as of Wednesday. Uh, I was I was rested and I had, my energy was was really peaceful and there was plenty of it. And I spent a lot of time in nature and a lot of time reading and journaling. So I have a lot to share with you from that. And uh, and so that's that was one of the takeaways was if you do this for yourself, I strongly encourage you to do it when you do it allow the schedule to be organic. There is so much to take in here uh, and you have to choose carefully, you know, what, what you, what really resonates with you and what, what you want, how you want to spend your time. And uh, so that was something to be super mindful of. And, and it was really, really nice to honor that for myself. And I have many things to share with you about spending a week in silence or near mostly silence. There were a couple of times I did have to speak with people, you know, in a whisper just um, for logistical reasons, but largely I was in silence and, and really kept to myself. And uh, it's interesting what you observe in people and in settings when you are quiet and just the things that come into your awareness. And as I sh said, I'll be sharing more of that with you. And I think the other takeaway is just, it's so important to be in nature, or at the very least to get fresh air. <laughs> I know we don't all love going into the woods as much as I do, but uh, even if you don't, do something in nature that speaks to you, whether it's just going to the beach and watching a sunset or taking a walk in a park on a paved path uh, and when you do those things, I strongly encourage you to do them in silence. I'll warn you, I'm going to be evangelizing silence for a while after this because it's so important to notice what comes into our awareness. And the other big, big, big takeaway, unplug. I run a largely online business and I managed to unplug for a week. I don't think the world stopped turning while I did that. I won't be officially plugged in until tomorrow. I'm recording this for you now, but I won't officially be plugged in until tomorrow. But it was amazing what it did to be off my device for a week. By midweek, I had actually lost the habit of needing to check my phone. That's something to observe, how often you feel the need to look at your phone. Just because it's become a habit to look at it. And then we get distracted and lost in whatever has come in in the, you know, whatever time it's been, four or five minutes, 15 minutes, hour, since the last time you checked it. And it was really nice to be free of that, 
for several days. Really, really nice. So those are some of my big takeaways. Uh, as you can see, I acquired a new crystal and a new Ganesha while I was here. And you can see also this beautiful tree that I've had right outside my window. I seem to always luck out with the best uh, accommodations. I always get something situated really well. And so I've had this beautiful tree all week. There's been birds uh, singing right outside my window, eating the little berries on the tree. It's just magic. So I have a lot more nature stories to share with you as well, and as well as many other, many other takeaways from this week. So that's all I'm going to be coming to you soon. But just know that I'm here. I did not forget about uh, my students and my, my people. I, you are very much with me here because as you know, uh, what I do in my own personal practice informs my teaching and I bring that back to you. And there was something extra special about being here at this point at going on 25 years or so in my practice, my own personal practice, to be at that place in my practice and be in a place like this and be aware of that and, and to approach it in such a, a dedicated, mindful way is really, truly transformative. And I can't wait to share that with you. So I look forward to uh, connecting with you again soon, and I hope that all of you had a beautiful week. Namaste.